Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to this video game. I've forgotten the name of. Oh, welcome back to the Thaumaturge. In the last video, we caught Lelek. So we need to go talk to Rasputin and bring Lelek entirely into the fold. That's going to unlock our ability to level up our mind a little bit more. And then we can go do all these side quests that have until now evaded me. My grasp. Hello. Oh, this is open again. I may cut off another one of my fingers, I'd still eat another donut. It's a good way to live your life. <laughs> Anything caught your eye, sir? Oh, this is steak guy, isn't it? Vampires. Hey, we've already had this conversation. Goodbye. Thought he does something new because the text was white, but the game lied to me, but that's okay. Obvious you're a foreigner, all right. God damn. <laughs> Not sure that's necessary. Rasputin! Mr. Shulsky. Maid. Is Rasputin here? Sadly, yes. Can you just let me in the house? We have to have this conversation every single time. Nothing in here, is there? Everybody. Moral quagmire, she says, cleaning the boudoir. It's good to see you. You too, buddy. Although, I think I can already see what you need. Let's not waste time. How about that? I'll be very grateful to you for another round of help. Let me share something about your pace in hunting for salutors. Aren't you losing yourself too much in it? Again? I don't think so. And if it is, it will only improve. Thanks to you, of course. I'm just worried. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. I find these very odd. Nice globe, though. Looks like a um, globe bar. I've got a globe bar. My most treasured possession, honestly. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. Doesn't it just... Have you seen the future again? I don't know if it's the future. It could just be some symbols I don't know how to interpret. Heavy clouds drifting over battlefields, reaping a deadly harvest. And these faceless beings walking among strangely contorted bodies and the ship unsinkable, yet it went down with thousands on board. I feel as though I could have stopped it. Is that a Titanic? What you was the Titanic? Did you watch me sleeping? You still drew. I was like, Titanic was 1912. Yeah, he could, he could he could have been talking about the Titanic, which was of course. I think I shouldn't abuse the Nadezhinsky's hospitality any further. That distressed woman you mentioned, Svetlana. 
You know, I saw her in my vision. That surly maid brought me the gossip about her that was going around town. This Fietwana is causing herself trouble. What was this gossip, may I ask? Nothing that would sully her in your eyes. She intrigued me. I'd like to meet her. And you know, I think she needs help. Help? What do you want me to do? Bring her to me. I won't keep you. Until next time. Now we also got a uh, checkbook at the end of the last video, and I've remarked already that it seemed odd to me that I didn't have money in this game, in a way. Um, but maybe that will no longer be the case. Maybe we will have to... Because, you know, I want to be able to like buy clothes at the tailor and stuff like that. And it didn't seem to be a thing, but maybe it will be now. Who knows? Anywho, we have some skill points to save, and then, as I say, we're going to take a break from all of this nonsense, and we're going to go do some side questing. So, there he is, Lelek. So we got Thoughtful Development. Yeah, that's the higher tier one. Hits for a lot. <laughs> Icy Armor. <clears throat> Lowers taken damage from every attack by four. That's pretty sweet. I'd like to throw that into something, I think. And body stiffening reduces inflicted damage by fifty percent for seven turns, though. So that you, that affects the uh, the enemy. Right, how many points do I have left? Three. So start working on these, I suppose. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm just gonna pick. <sighs> Interrupts an enemy's planned action if the enemy's in suffering. Okay, that's really good. We're building a suffering build, so I'm going to level these up evenly, but I'll probably be pushing Deed first, you know. Uh, right. Spooky. There's a lot of stuff going on here. The problem is you don't use that many. Like, I only really use four or five attacks, maybe. You know, I, how often am I going to use thoughtful development? Very, very rarely. Um, okay. Old Wound, I think, is pretty good. With the effect it has on the moment. Let me see if there's any... Right, what do I want? Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. So the ones I want are all doubles, aren't they? I want... Um, I want Icy Armor, I think. I'm going to put it on there, so at least it's there somewhere. What does my Agony do? It stores four health points for every enemy in the suffering. See, you want that on Agony. It just makes sense. You know, I think I would probably use uh, action reaction. In, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I want body stiffening as well, but I just don't see a way to get that in. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so, 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 very cool. Although, already, we're only one away from not being able to level up this anymore. Um, journal. Journal. So, let's start doing our missions. I don't know if we can finish them all now, but we're just going to take each side quest as far as we possibly can. Nothing here, nothing here. Because, yeah, why wouldn't you? The all timed missions and such. Want to make sure we do everything we can. I think we're still in Act 1. You know, we did the prologue, and then it popped up with Act 1. Um, I can't remember what it's called anymore. But I figure we'll do everything we can, and Act the end of Act 1 is probably going to be the swap over, right? Oh, hey, Pelavin. Word 5 for that. Wait, wait, what's my word at the moment? Can I get Word 5? If I thought about it, I would have leveled up Word... We can do a little bit more, though. Broken bottles. Oh, we only need a little bit more XP as well. A throwing competition without target. In addition to the bottles, he also threw words full of resignation and bitterness. They were joined in their flight by a sense of duty, the satisfaction of a job well done, and the last shred of heart he once had for the job. He doesn't want to lose it, but can he manage to hold on to it? I swear, there's, there's three things I couldn't click on. Right? I just need to find one more thing, and then I can level up words, and we can get this. 
I swear there was a third thing that I couldn't do before, but I probably can now. Oh. Oh, I saw something. There's something. There's something. I see it. There's something. There it is. Photograph. Where this photograph? Words full of disbelief seeped into the surface of the paper when she saw him after he'd gone to the barber. Is it really you? Without the beard, it's like you're a different person. Okay, we're very, very close to leveling up. Guaranteed that next thing will get us there, but I just need to find one more thing. Just one more thing we can scan. Just keep roaming around. Oh, oh, there's something, I think. Hmm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. There's something here. There's something here. I can't see it, though. Where is it? Oh, it's, it's, down, it's down here. It's on the wall over there, I think. There we go. Brusha, Madame Lulu, a tarot master of global renown, receives customers at midnight at the inn under the pheasant, located at 8 Browana well, Street. Well. Okay. Night of Divination. At midnight, you can visit the famous tarot reader, Madame Lulu, at 8 Browana Street. She's just arrived in Warsaw, and rumor has it her divinations come true. I leveled. Sweet, perfect. So now we can level word. And get double the inflicted damage or lowered focus if your focus is less than six. That's bad at the moment. Well Double the inflicted damage. Yeah, it doesn't again double damage doesn't really make sense for my builds, because it's a it's a dot build at the moment. No, I'm doing this. I know where to go. <laughs> right, there we go. Police hat. Crumpled and tossed into the mud. Maybe it can be washed. Cursing. He angrily sent the symbol of his work where it belonged. Alone against everyone. What's the point in trying? Someone without ambition, without conscience, will always come along and give a heartless order to do things faster, to do more. Never to do them better. Pelivan clearly cares about this job. He's just frustrated with the job. It's not too late to convince Pelivan. He doesn't believe Kejitan is guilty and would like to find the true killer. The will to fight is still smoldering in him. I just need to rekindle the flame. Pelivan. Oh, hello, Snakey. Of all the giants in Povishla, you walk into this one again. I know, what am I like? Word five. Inspire Pelivan's will to fight. You won't give up that easy. Deep down, you're not that kind of man. Tilting at windmills has dimmed your investigator's instinct, but you won't give them the satisfaction. I don't have the strength. I do. Let's bring this case to a close. Let's find the real fisherman. You're right. The dubber is innocent. I'm not going to fall in with a heartless system where all that matters is the quarterly performance. Come, I'll show you the body. It's still in the ice room, unless the pallbearer took it. I'll tell you the rest of the story there. See, I'm not that bad at spellcasting. Viktor Shulski, Thaumaturge. Antoni Nigorevich Pilevin. Lead the way. I hope I don't regret it, Thaumaturge. <laughs> nice. The ice house. You know, we have to use a little manipulation to get here. But he's a, he's a good egg. He's a good egg. He wants to do a good job. You know. Wants to catch the right guys, but the system, the system breaks people down. It's what it does. It's what it's built for. Yesterday, he gave a Boloka Kopex to leave him alone. <laughs> she forgot her child. <laughs> Where's my child? He is also called Cracker Jack. There's a lot of people called Cracker Jack in this town. I am literally walking with the commander. You ain't gonna mess with me. A wild rest right here, man. Oh, something, 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 something. Receipt. I confirmed the purchase of 25 bales of denim material from the Mivar and Rose Co. factory. 
on 08, 08, 1905 by Mr. John Lovisso, signed J. Matthews. The word success, breakthrough, and lucrative business dance around it like review girls. The fabric, which is gaining popularity in America as clothing for workers, is also likely to catch on here, and no one has heard of it yet. Vistula Visionary, he can already see the headline of a newspaper article. He's going to bring denim to Poland. I can see that being a thing. Bench. A wooden seat overlooking the house of the fisherman's last victim. Wood that has split from cold, a thousand storms, and the scorching sun holds more than just sand in its cracks. There's a hateful thought in the grain. Someone was surprised the house didn't stink with those fucking fish. Hello, woman. Yes. Have we talked? What are you selling? My late husband's oh, we have adult. Have Other than you? Yeah, okay. I have. Good. The text shouldn't be white. Unless there's new information, you know what I mean? That's just how that's how things work. It's okay. It's okay. Ice house. Let's check out the body. Take a look and let's get out of here. No worries. There he is. Tadeusz Pielecha, a Powiśle man. Childless, 46 years old. He was a fisherman. No, Tomatork. Zadzilla. Cold, butchered, reeks of blood and fish. His name was... whatever he just said. <laughs> There's a heat of living fingers imprinted on the dead skin, frosted by rapid breathing. Someone has dragged the body towards the nightly ripple of the river. The trip was short, the effort passing, the satisfaction wild, the contempt boundless. Interesting they mention that, because often... removing the eyes... Or like covering the head and stuff like that. I guess removing the eyes is a bit more than covering the head. But you do it because of guilt and that you don't want the victim to like look at you, basically. Did he have a family? We only know about the wife. They didn't seem to get along. <laughs> Wives, I right? The widow. <laughs> she lives in a house on the corner. Between the marketplace and the Ajax brothel. Sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that one. Pileha wasn't the fisherman's first victim. What about the others? There was another fisher, a porter, a traveling saleswoman, but this is our best clue. Were other victims from around here as well? Some spent all their lives in Povishle. Others were passing through, and they were just unlucky. Then it's certain the fisherman lives in the area and knows it well. Which means he probably also keeps his victims somewhere around here. And then just drops them on the van? Hmm. Why are we assuming that it's a man? Women are just as talented at being murderers. Actually, they're not. I mean, if you look at mass murderers, or serial killers in particular, I think it's like 95% male dominated or something like that. What happened to equality, eh? Pelophon confessed that the fisherman's victims lived in Povisla or were passing through, so the fisherman must be local, he knows the area well, the hideout must be nearby. Any personal items? Something could have been imprinted on them. His emotions, thoughts, anything. All he had was his wedding ring. But we gave it back to the widow because she was crying that she wanted to have a memento of her husband. We should ask her to show this wedding ring to us. I presume it's his trademark. Yes, he always puts pebbles in place of gouged out eyes. Ordinary river pebbles, probably collected at the local wharf. He has multiple wounds and bruises. Yeah, he was tortured before he died. But the immediate cause of death was a strong hit to the back of the head. Stunt like a fish, it's a joke. All right, the autopsy is over. When did Pielecha's wife report he was missing? She admitted she was worried her husband had been gone for three days. She did take her time. Maybe she was the one who killed him. Why don't you talk to her? If you need me, I'll be at the moonshine. Pebble. <laughs> the pebble with dried blood on it, surrounded by echoes of obsessive thoughts. Someone has shoved it into the empty eye socket, wondering why they hesitated so long if it was so satisfying. This is a deeply erotic eye pebble. Memories filled with pain fluttered in the head like fat moths. Nothing in here? Nothing in here. 
Okie dokie. Find the murderer to free guests and wait until nightfall to time to get the prostitutes, retrieve the wedding ring. Well, we should be able to do that a bit now, right? Let's go to... Oh, it's her. Hello, woman. Yes. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like jewelry? What jewelry? Look at me. I had Pieleha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Money don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarna Street. That's where the thing is. I have to go now. Goodbye. She looks... This is... Like, those of you who have seen many of this genre of film will know exactly what I mean. She looks like a werewolf. She's got... There's something that happens like when people start to turn into werewolves in werewolf films. And the eyes and the shape of her face were screaming werewolf transformation. Also, there just aren't enough werewolf games. Can I point this out? There are like no werewolf games out there. We did get one a few years ago, but it was a really cheap, awful little thing. It was it was really bad. It just wasn't worth playing at all. Which is a shame. I love werewolves. Bigfoot. We knew what Bigfoot games. Anywho. Pawn shop, buy, sell, exchange, pawn loans, pledge anything, open from dawn till dusk. Like the vampire film. Dawn till dusk a vampire film? I think so. Nothing in here, nothing in here. All right, pawn shop boy. Hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying, pledging? What does pledging mean in this context? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. I guess it just means selling. Oh, something continues to elude you. Interesting. Do you remember Mieszko said Semin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Semin died a long time ago. They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. A real man makes his own luck. I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles. Wedding rings, golden. Uh-huh, congratulations. Thanks. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. What does a magician need a ring like that for? <laughs> like, I think he was gonna show me anyway, and I just thought, no, no, let me just make sure here. You know, I, I don't need this for a wedding. I need a ring from a corpse. Thank you. Why does a pawnbroker need to know things like that? I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. Hold up. I'm not going to play any games with you. Show me the ring. Well, this is a game I'm not going to play. Zihu, Rishi, come here. It's time for some fisticuffs. My prideful answers must get me into so much combat. <laughs> okay, well, guys, it's got a lot of health. What's that mean? The first attack on this target causes a negative attack. Negative effect. Okay. Well, he's got. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go focus on him. Upia, and then Lelik. Right. Let me have a look at what does, what does Lelik do. Reduces focus, protects you against states from being inflicted. Reduces focus, removes negative states from you, transfers them to an enemy. That's interesting. Reduces focus, interrupts an enemy planned action if they're in the suffering state. That's cool. Inflicts damage, lowers all enemies' focus by one. So, Lelic is very much focus space, but that one's really interesting. Because um, we're obviously. So, I can see Lelic. And Buka working well together. So, what am I going to do here? I want to lower your focus. Well, I should put you in... How? What's yours again? We'll figure it out. Okay, that gave me an effect. What's it? 
Reduces focus at the end of every round, affects stacks times two. That's not a big... Actually, what? so what we could do here is we could use Lelic to put Mournful Tones on this guy. Oh, we'll do it on this guy because it'll break him. That's going to reduce his focus by two, seemingly. And also transfer my negative effect on him, so he'll lose even more focus. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to go over here. Oh, this is a double as well. So I'm going to do this on the middle guy, just because it is a double. That's a damage, isn't it? Yeah. We're doing a focus round, for some reason. I've decided. We're mixing things up. Ah, I didn't get my 50-50, though. There we go. So he's knocked out. No, he's in weirdo mode. Ow. Um, <clears throat> okay. So I can just straight... Oh, I mean, that's a lot of damage. I just like Lelic. I think he's awesome. <laughs> And that should lower the other two's focus by one as well. So now, we do that. Guy on the right loses his focus. Finish him off. I'll not finish him off, but do some work. 35 damage. It doesn't last though. I was hoping to get both in. Oh. That'll finish him off, and then some Trill should get him to change states as well. Lelic seems very strong. <laughs> and then finish off with a concussion. Please, stop! Give me the wedding ring. All right, already. Here. A little bit harsh. Like, I didn't need him to give me the ring. I just wanted to see it, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't necessarily have to steal it from him. Anyway, so victim's wedding ring. What a rumbling clatter, an eerie tremolo. Horses in the sky, horses trampling in the sky. Hooves clattering. A thought echoes in the mind like a mantra caused by pain and panic. It ate into the gold ring like crimson rust as its owners drew its last breath. Alright, good talk, guys. Fancy man, must be in the wrong district. Uh -huh. Anyways, <laughs> we need to find a bench and wait till night time. Let me rest. Hey, you, Pia. Let's wait until... He never has anything to do to say. So, let's kill some time. El Prostituto. A friend of Piotrusius, you can ask, just be discreet. More is discreet. What about Tadeusz Pielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. Give my best to Piotrus. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. Escalate the conflict. Never in my life did I have to pay for a conversation with a beautiful woman. And I don't mean to change that today. Smooth talker, aren't you? Forget it. This is nothing, really. Just idle chit chat, that's all. I'm supposed to step in if any fishermen or other scum bother you. So I am. Unless you want to be left alone. And you? Come here. Losing a few teeth will teach you not to waste a hooker's time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's going on over here on the right? Focus. Attack with Velus. Reduces impact on no one's focus by one. 
And then attack with Bukovac. I might just go for a... Uh, howling on this one. Suffering on both. Ow. Ow. My focus is getting whomped. I'm just going to live in the world where that's absolutely fine. <laughs> that isn't a problem. That's a good world to live in. Let's stay in that world. Kind of left or die after this, anyway. Well, am I going to get hit twice before then? I am. Um, I'm a little worried about my focus. We can bring it back up if need be, though. But he's about to die on the left, and he's about to die on the right, I think. Eh, close enough. Uh, uh, let's just get some focus back. It'll be fine. See, how is he fine after that? You know? <laughs> I feel like he should be very dead. Didn't do anything to his focus, but pretty, brought mine back. And he's taking nine damage a turn. Sorry about that, love. I'm sure that doesn't help matters for you. That's the thing. It seems like I'm being helpful to her, I suppose, in a way. But, you know, I, I think in the real world, if that happens, if that situation happens, she starts to get a sour stench and puss down there. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> I think if that starts to happen, it probably doesn't go well for the uh, escort. Will you stop sneaking up on us? No. And do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Poor guy. He was the one the fisherman got this time. You shouldn't say bad things about the dead. But? Pielecha came to visit us, our body house, the day before he died. He wouldn't pay, so... And Yaja, the madam, had him thrown out. Thank you. I will talk to her. I've had it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to stay here any longer, getting wet and tempting fate. Isn't that Let's your job? Let's go. <laughs> Yaja will get over it. Teehee. Sex work's a funny thing. In that... That's the kind of thing where I would personally never use a sex worker. Not that I have anything against it, I just... I, it doesn't suit my sensibilities. And yeah, I just I think it's a totally fine thing that should be absolutely legalised, and I, I think the... the fact that it isn't totally legalised is just causing more problems than good, really. I don't see what negative there is to legalising it. If people want to do it, they do it anyway, so what difference does it make? If you legalise it, A, you can tax it, <laughs> which is good for the economy, blah blah blah, and B, you can protect people more, you know? Hello. Hello. Sweet Hello. secret. Sweet secret. Brooch. I lost brooch. Also, brooch is one of those horrible words. If you look at the word brooch, you would think brooch, right? You look at that, it says brooch. But it's not. It's brooch. But brooch should be B-R-O-C-H-E to me. Brooch. Right? Or B-R-O-A-C-H. Brooch. Brooch. But no. Brooch. She fails at the ground. Well, brooch is already B-R-O-C... B-R-O-A-C-H is already brooch, isn't it? You broach a subject like that. She fell to the ground again, and her brooch fell from her collar. They say it's her favourite dress, dyed with shields green. That's bad for her. Maybe they're right, she's already 60 years old. She doesn't have much left, and after all, you have to die of something. <laughs> I suppose. Against the current. The new man doesn't look back and doesn't heed the... Let me try that one again. The new man doesn't look back and doesn't heed the prejudices of a bygone era. He proudly displays smoothly shaved cheeks, chooses strong colours without regard to their dark connotations, and reaches for unusual fabrics. The new decade will belong to those who make fashion adjust to them, not the other way around. To the brothel!
Pia, Pia, Piano. Thoughts of lost hopes in the mean city of Warsaw, unstrung like the instrument they're settled on. Suddenly, they vanish completely, replaced by violent memories as their owner senses the odious smell of fish in the air. Trace familiar, the fisherman. The fisherman's been here. At the brothel. For some reason, I'm not allowed in any of the rooms. I wonder why that would be. Pia, Pia, Piano, Piano, Piano. I am Have the you music looked around? Man. Any special requests? Wait, I've got a parody song. I am the fisherman. <laughs> I come from far away. Who do you slay? Who do you slay? I slay the commoners. Stabby, 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 stab. Anyways. <laughs> Who usually plays the piano here? Would that it were only one. We get no shortage of has-been artists here, or them that try to bamboozle the girls into giving them a better price, especially if they're drunk. One of the girls saw it in a pawn shop. It wasn't cheap. Your employees play too? I can find you someone that can tickle the ivories. But that's not what I pay them for. Tell me about this place. Yes. When you send your girls out to work, aren't you concerned about their safety? You must be the reason Anastasia and Clementina came back crying. Do you know how long it took me to calm them down? At least here they are safe. They are safe out there. Is that clear? Don't think that's the case, but okay. Are all the girls local? Oh, we've already done this if one, haven't we? Imad, no. Does Piotr Kusta live here too? That one always. F and this one. They really need to fix this text. I've heard that Deus Pilecha came here the day before he died. You're not from around here, precious, are you? What are you snooping around for? Justice. Getting passioned by touching dead people's items. I'm not going to say that to a person. <laughs> A thaumaturgist habit. So has he been here or not? He seemed odd, and he didn't pay, and I value our time, so I had him kicked out. Seems fair. Do you remember which girl he spent his time with that day? Not at all. Can I take a look around the rooms where you receive customers? No, precious. Whoever enters the rooms must pay first. That's the rule. Intimidate her to let you in. She had a motive to kill Piet. Oh, whatever. How about this? You let me in the rooms, and I won't tell anyone you killed Pileja for his debts. Pileja. You've got a wild imagination, precious. Can you see me, an older woman, dragging an adult man's body? It doesn't matter. All that matters is what people believe once the rumor spreads. No one will visit a brothel where customers get killed. Go on. Upstairs with you. Just don't scare my girls. Or you'll kill me like you killed Pileja? <laughs> All I need to do is have you thrown out, precious. I do like the prideful answers. It's just more fun, you know? They're just more enjoyable. What can I say? Hello, everyone. Nothing in this one. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. <laughs> I think it's probably something else. Topple table. The boy hid under the table, just for giggles. He waited for her to come, and when she came, he jumped out from under the table so suddenly that he caught the attention of Auntie Jazia downstairs. But the girl living here only laughed. A long and sincere laugh. A joyful memory. I suspect this is the kid. It used to contain cheap locally brewed beer. The urchin brought her her favourite beer, but she had a customer. The hell of it. This time she'll make an exception and send the John off. She'd rather be drinking warm, flat beer than indulging the whims of Warsaw Degenerates. Ornate box. A thought frolics around the box. Pietrix stole something for her again. But can you blame him? The boy is like a brother. Unruly and careless, but he's the only reason she still smiles. But this trace is the fisherman's trace. 
Clara's choice. Clara's the fisherman? Clara's carefree and sincere affection for Pietrick beams from the items. I was almost touched. The boy doesn't realize that his auntie is the fisherman. I have to find her. Pietrick may be in danger. Crazy! Twist! I told- didn't I say- didn't I say women can be serial killers? <laughs> and that would be okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, equality. I think I probably want to do this one first. To the moonshine! The gentleman March issue. Time for a breath of fresh air. Spring encourages change, which is why the March issue features the new ideal of male beauty. Clean shaven face, perfectly cut dress, uncompromising colours, and carefully picked accessories. At the end of the issue, experts analyse working fabrics that become increasingly popular. Let me check on the map actually if there's any. Nope. I am the music man, I come from far away. Wait, no, I am the fisherman, I come from far away. Who do you slay? Anything new? Who do you slay? Have you seen my little sassy Povishle boy? Strange sentence. Now, is he a part of the investigation? Yes, you could say so. He was supposed to find me. Oh no. I know the fisherman's identity. It's Clara, one of Auntie Aja's prostitutes. What? So what are we waiting for? Let's get her! I don't know where he is. I'll get back to you. So what am I supposed to... Fine, I wait. Oh, we need a bit more evidence, don't we? I can't imagine a, a thaumaturge is gonna <laughs> stand up in court, right? Surely? Just no brawling, please. Oh, you're the guy who what hates me. What can I get you? I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked to come here. Wouldn't you rather have a drink? I... I don't feel like talking about Tadek. Barton doesn't want to talk, I'm not from here, maybe I can convince him somehow. Here we go. Tell me all you know while I'm still nice. <laughs> Why? Are you going to beat me up like Genek? You can try all you want, I'm not impressed. Oh. I'll be off. Good riddance. Okay, there's something eluding me. Is it in the bar? Oh, there's many things in the bar, here we go. A cigarette butt in an ashtray. Ash blends with thoughts and powders, them grey. Don't make a mistake, stay calm and watch the victim patiently. She can hear her brother's voice in her head, as scolding as ever. As always, you dumb oaf, you're good for nothing. Though it appeared otherwise, the item still carries a good memory. A simple game of axe throwing made long evening conversations more pleasant for the companions who've known each other since childhood. There were also words running down the handle, fresh and sad. Grief for the one who will never again join them for a drink. Bartender's cloth. Cloth that's still stiff from dirt is marked by beer stains and remnants of conversations. Words of joy, words of pain, wishes of good fortune, secrets. Only companions make life in this despicable place at least somewhat bearable. Every patron here is a regular. No wonder they don't want to talk to me. I can sense a deep sadness in the bartender caused by the loss of one of his companions. I can take the advantage of this and get him to confide in me about the fisherman's latest victim. See, this is interesting, because we don't really need to do this, surely. Because we've kind of, like, already figured out who the murderer is. Just no brawling, please. Brawling. What can I get you? Reach for his grief and open him up. You miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages, and now the mere mention of his name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here? Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. I suppose you don't have many customers on rainy nights like that, hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. 
Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. <laughs> I mean you. Yeah, I got that, buddy. Did Pielecha leave alone? Yenek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She chums around with that little shit Yusta. Did you talk to him? Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it, and he wouldn't pay for nothing. Other than that, no. He was a man of few words. You can't I'll be off now. not pay. Good riddance. I, if I'm reading that correctly, you can't not pay the brothel just because you didn't, you know, <laughs> get where you wanted to get. Felicia left the moonshine vowing not to return to his wife. In the morning, he was already lying on the riverbank dead. See, clearly you're meant to do this before you do the other bit, basically. Tadeusz Pilesha died after leaving his favourite bar. His horses in the sky may relate to the last thing he heard before his death. Horse-drawn coaches and carriages going across the bridge that towers over the district. So the fisherman's torture chamber may be located under its massive arches in one of the barracks there. Although, I was wrong, and this is very important information. <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, hit me like a goddamn truck, that did. Oh boy. Right. Oh, hello, something going on over here. So this is where you've been hiding, Auntie Clara. Clara. Cigarette butts were filled with hateful thoughts, exhaled of each drag. He just has to finish up with Bielch, then now he's on the table, toss him out on the riverbank and go back to his place. He He the murderess bears a trauma from her past. Pain and anger impels her to take revenge on men for the hurt, hurt, hurt caused by her brother who reeked of fish. Okay. The stripper of moral inhibitions and her disappointment with Warsaw and her life gave a twisted excuse for killing. Auntie Clara, what did you do to the boy? Piotrusz's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Move away from him. None of this is his fault. True. He was right. He connected the dots quickly and found this place. And this is why you want to kill him now? I don't want to, but I must. Because of you, you're to blame for the boy wanting to play detective. And now his blood will be on your hands. If you harm even a hair on his head, I'll kill you. I know that tone all too well. I no longer fear it. Everything would have worked out if it wasn't for this pesky kid. Why are you even doing this? Why wouldn't I be doing this? Why wouldn't I slaughter those stinking sods? My only regret is that I didn't start sooner. I mean, it's not really on the kid. Because... I... I'm here anyway. <laughs> like, I found this place without the kid. So even if the kid didn't happen to be here, I would be here. Anyway, it's hot four. You won't hurt him the same way you were hurt because you don't hate him. Ronupia, get in there. I have seen and felt how carefree you become in his presence. As if he gave you back moments of childhood that you never had. I'm sorry, Piotrusz. Now we'll leave together. No, magician. Piotrusz has all the time in the universe. I don't. Stop! What the fuck is this place? She's the murderer? Clara? Is she... Unfortunately. Fucking hell. I knew I would regret it. Don't tell me the kid is dead too. Well? He's alive. 
Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. Everything okay? You all right? All right. Yeah. I'm all right. You're lucky the kid's in one piece. How could you be so irresponsible and act alone? There was no time to think. I had to act fast. And I think you followed your pride, Mr. Great Thalmathurge. I mean, that kid would be dead. <laughs> if I hadn't got that. I'm sorry, I didn't notify you before. Apologizing won't change the fact that the murderer... The murderess is dead. It's funny, she... she I, I think the idea is that she slit her own throat or something, right? But she... Clearly got stuck in her pose, so she kind of just seemed like she was standing there making weird gurgling noises. And then he walks in and she's still just standing there. I think she was meant to, you know, be dead on the floor. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No. This is where my intuition failed. I also didn't anticipate that she'd take her life like this. I mean, it's fairly classic murderer stuff. I'm sorry for dragging you into this, lad. Nah. Forget about it. The risk comes with the job. <laughs> but I guess you'll have to conduct your next investigation without me. How did you end up on this table? I found this dive, and as I was going to get you, Auntie Clara showed up. Then, I don't remember. Hmm, I understand. What will happen to Cayetana now? The perpetrator is deceased, so now I have to tie all the murders to her corpse. It'll take a while without a testimony. Seeing as you've bungled everything here, I'm tempted to hold your painter until he croaks. Just tell me when you release him. I'll call you. I'll be waiting for your call regarding Cayetana's case, Commissioner. Sure. Goodbye. Take care, partner. We did good. We <laughs> sure did, kid. Let's go. I'll show you the police station. I think he's being a bit harsh on me, if I'm honest. But we did it. I'm a little confused then. How do I get a thingy? Marana? Because I thought we were going to get Marana as part of this mission, to be honest. I'm going to head back down to the coast. And we saw her as part of this mission. Was she not the one? Did I mess Did I mess up? Was I meant to go and... Was I meant to talk to the officer before going to the hovel? That made a difference. I can't imagine they're going to lock me out of getting Marana, right? I don't think I'm... I mean, he's giving me, like, I'm only doubting myself because he's giving me such a hard time. Let me just save the game. And then I'm going to load. Um, probably th there. Let's just see if we can play it out any differently by talking to him before we go to her. Right, so that's where we would go. Let's go talk to the detective. I mean, look, I don't have it on the map or anything like that. He's not he's listed. He's down here somewhere. Always interesting just to see if things can play out differently anyway, right? Oh, the hell's this? The madame looked at the cards and her eyes winded in astonishment. Your fate is still uncertain. It's ruled by forces beyond our ken, and the ending to this story has not yet been decided. She whispered, trembling. Nothing new there. Oh, I found one of the things. It's Madame Thingamajiggy. Oh no, now I have to, <laughs> to come back. I don't know what to do. Maybe we just do it again. Uh, I'm trying to remember where this is. I think it's at the bottom, right? It's like all the way down here. Down one more. And then this is the moonshine bar around this corner, I believe. Oh no, this is the ice house. So where's the moonshine? Meh?
Oh, it's all the way up there. Am I numpty? Might be. Might just be a numpty. Is he at the moonshine? He's outside the moonshine. He's outside the moonshine. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I, th I think he's always going to hate me. But we'll see. Maybe we can get it to play out differently. I'm curious. Click, 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 click. Commander! Well, can we go get her? I can't wait any longer. I know where to look for the murderer. Well, let's go then. There's no time like the present. Okay. No, is this the place? Yes. The fisherman's hideout. Let's do it this way. Is the fisherman there now? I'm not sure. I'll go in first. You can back me up in case something goes awry. I trust you. I'm the civilian in this circumstance. <laughs> Alright, well, we can skip Auntie forward. Clara. Piotr, I ex I will. Move away from here. True. I'm going to click the same options. And. You are. Stop! You are under arrest for the murders of Tadeusz Pielecha, Jagna Bogdanka, Stanisław Pietrowicz, and likely several others as well. What's with the shouting? I can't hear you, you know. I haven't seen miracles like this before. What about the kid? He's alive. Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. How are you? Do you need anything? No, no, nothing. I think. Thank you. What will happen to Kayetan now? First, we'll have to get testimony from the murderers. It'll take a while, even if I expedite things. The paperwork alone will take a fair bit of time. I'll call you. Would you ever think she... No. I'm sorry. But... Then? Hmm. I'll be waiting for your call. Sure. Keep out of trouble. Goodbye. Take care. Let's go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so I still don't get thingy though. <laughs> Maybe there's more to this somehow. Um, so we kind of cheated there. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But I don't care. <laughs> it was a more interesting conclusion. And to be honest, it probably doesn't make a difference long term. You know, he's still going to call us when thingy gets out. I, I suspect everything plays out the exact same way. But we got to see an alternative. Um, it makes me think in the future, and it's a lesson learned that. So it's like the first time we've learned the lesson. I didn't get punished for it this time because we cheated. <laughs> but other than that, it's kind of like, you know, don't, that's why you have to follow the map. If you think there's something logical to do, go do that first, even if the map isn't telling you to go that way, kind of thing. Uh, anyways, anyways, we will end it there. So we're going to carry just working. I'll try that again in English. We're just going to carry on working through these uh, many, many, many thousands of... I mean, most of these are just like, go and click on buildings, I think. But we've got side quests. Um, not many. There we go. So we're going to do the side quests. Well, we can't do that one. We'll touch these three. And then we'll do the urban secrets, which is just clicking on buildings stuff like that. So we really only have three missions to do, and these might have a, a wall as well. You never know. Either way, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very, very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.